it was our, our moral responsibility to, to, to support the, the struggle for independence of these people. Uh, although we, we had uh, big forces against such move, but luckily it seems that it is towards it is independence, then respecting the wish of the people, we do uh, adhere what will be their decision. Does this mean that... not intending to force at all. Yeah. But does this mean that you are dropping the hope of a totally united Somalia, that, that for instance, Djibouti will... Well, uh, even, even this must come through the wish of the people. We should not... We should uh, believe the, the, the people to, to decide their destiny. We are against the, any forcing of, of people's wish and, uh, and, and, and uh, to, to decide their destiny, to decide their, their future. They are better uh, competent to, to see what is convenient for them and what's not convenient for them. Uh, would it then be wrong to assume that Somalia would not oppose a possible later move by the majority of the population in Djibouti to perhaps have a referendum whether to join or not to join Somalia? Well, frankly, I said, I remain my point to say that we do respect the people's decision, people's desire uh, for their destiny. We, we remain this. Uh, it depends how they want. No, but if you choose so yourself, then, uh, then uh, you, you can become this a part of, of Somalia. And this, uh, will, will you have a referendum is, sometime to, no, to join? No, no, no. We didn't think about it, yes. But... Uh, uh, I think that uh, as, a fed, um, as a federation in all the region, Ethiopia, including Somalia and Eritrea, if there is a project like this, I think we will be a uh, member of, of this big federation. In interviews I've made with leaders of the Empire Party in Djibouti, uh, it has been made clear that they want to retain a certain French military presence also after independence. Does Somalia support a continued French military presence in Djibouti? We don't think that there is any, inter any French interest in keeping military there. And we told that very frankly, that today the technology does not need to make uh, military there. We do advise and we insist that French uh, has, uh, has decided to leave the country and uh, give the people to their independence after long colonization, to give the money to, 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 to the country which they are living rather than to maintain a huge uh, military base there, which will not fruit any, any good. We really oppose this. We do oppose any other kind of military base, particularly in, in these uh, developing countries who need peace. After independence of the booty, so do you see any threats that unrest and even violence or guerrilla warfare might erupt in the territory? Attempts may be, may be made by, by, by Ethiopians or elements organized by them, but uh, I, didn't, I, I don't think that they will have any success in doing so. So I think it's convenient for... for, for or Ethiopians or other countries to leave these people to to run their affairs by their own selves and not to force. Otherwise, many forces will be involved. Therefore, no one will go uh, smoothly out of it. You then see the Ethiopian attitude to the independence of Djibouti and the necessity for Ethiopia to retain this outlet to the sea as a threat to the future independence of Djibouti. I don't think uh, there is any threat. There is threat in their mind only. The suspicions, their, uh, uh, their character of, of, of suspicion and uh, uh, lack of trust in themselves too, not, not only to, to, to other people, but to themselves too, and this is the characteristic of Ethiopians. But there is no threat at all to, to Ethiopian interest, which is uh, economical interest, as we know. Uh, we have always advised these uh, political leaders of the country to not be less generous than the colonial boundary, to Ethiopia. 
they are always there. Unfortunately, they never believe because, because they are bad in their heart, but we are not so bad in our heart. Even if these people choose to come and join Somalia, they will not be any problem. If they are alone, we will support uh, the idea of giving all necessary facilities to Ethiopia as far as they do so uh, in, uh, as a friendly country, not as, a, as a arrogance and a pressure. Mm -hmm. Do you see any possibility of solving the border dispute between Somalia and Ethiopia peacefully? ሁሉ በፊት በሶማሌና በኢትዮጵያ መካከል የመሬት ክርክር ወይም ደግሞ border dispute የሚባል ነገር የለም በርግጥ ሶማሌዎች የሶማሌ ሪፐብሊክ ባለፉት ረጅም ዘመናት በኮሊኒያሊስቶች ስር ስለነበረች ሁለት አግሮች መካከል ያልተወሰነው የመሬት ማለት የወሰን ክልል ባሆኑ ጊዜ በአፍሪካ አንድነ ድርጅትና እንዲሁም ደግሞ በዩናይትድ ኔሽን ህግ መሰረት ወሰናው ቢከለል በዚህ በኩል በሁለት አግሮች መካከል ምንም ችግር ይፈጥራል የሚል ምነት የለም በእኛ በኩል Both Somalia and Ethiopia had socialist go socialist governments now why then not drop the ambition of a united Somalia and instead establish some sort of a federation between the two countries and perhaps also include Djibouti I don't think that we are a socialist country, or we don't think that Ethiopians are socialist. We believe that they are chauvinist. Why they don't give the people to their self-determination? Why they do kill and continue to kill and force and oppress? Why, if they are socialist? The socialist principle is humanitarian, basic. And humanitarian never uh, desire to oppress other human beings, their scenery. But they are they can. So how can we believe that they are socialists? They can uh, put a flag of socialism, but uh, with mentality and thinking of colonizing. Mm -hmm. It's a contradiction. They may be having a kind, kind of, of, of socialism, which they may become tomorrow, but today they are not socialists. Therefore, there is no agreement between us and colonizers. them to come and capture us? No. We will go and ally even North America, which is a superpower only, or Europeans, but with devil to defend ourselves, even with devil, to defend and maintain our freedom.